If you're on the C++ Slack uh, and you know the answer to this one, don't shout it out. What do you call spaghetti code that abuses the preprocessor? Macaroni. Uh, yeah, OK, I'm just going to. No, OK, um, I wanted to give a short talk on just like fun things about C++ 17 fold expressions. Uh, who here has been playing around with 17? Yeah, OK, so you could give this talk. Um, you can also make origami dinosaurs, I guess. Uh, so they're great. You can, uh, it, it's extremely terse syntax for dealing with parameter <laughs> packs. You can, you can take stuff out of a, a non-template uh, type parameter list, generic list. You can, uh, you can write a generic uh, print function using cout as an initial parameter and uh, taking a, a, essentially like a, a variadic print function. It's really nice. This is from Bryce's presentation. I just grabbed a lot of stuff for people for this lightning talk. Uh, you can use the comma operator and essentially write a, a for each with uh, a lambda and a set of um, a, a, a generic pack of arguments. Um, and, and this uh, is, is cool because this means that you can uh, iterate over, uh, it's, kinda, it's a, basically a heterogeneous for loop. Uh, but the problem is with using the comma operator is uh, you, you can't do anything with the return type. Uh, so what do we do about that? Uh, well, uh, Barry Revson is coming up again. He answered this question on Stack Overflow with a really awesome one-liner, uh, or I guess you know a few liners, but essentially you know reduces to a one-liner. Or if you take a uh, the f is a callable. The, yeah, no except correctness, and here, whatever, it's out the window. This is for like tiny slides we're optimizing here. But uh, you can accumulate a return value over f, um, and you're essentially using f as your binary operator, but f is actually can be any, um, any uh, uh, callable with arity2. Um, this, is, this is starting to look like really cool. Like we're kind of implementing folds where we're using the result of a, a thing, but there's a huge problem with this, which is that uh, the result of your uh, intermediate operations has to have a uniform type. So having this pack of x's is like not super useful at all. Um, uh, this also works with Construx, but I forgot to mention that. That's like cool. Um, but if you want to do something like fold over a tuple, um, so have a, a, a tuple cat. Uh, where the, your, your, your binary operation is you're concatenating two tuples, and then you can have n tuples that you concatenate together. You can't do this with this previous solution because the tuples all have a different type. It doesn't compile. It gives a really weird error message, too, that like makes no sense. So maybe I should report a bug. Uh, and this is the possible solution I came up with while I was walking around yesterday talking about this problem and uh, uh, drinking at the bar. So, uh, but it does, it does compile in it, and it works with you know a few like uh, off the cuff test cases. So if you can um, think of something better than this, which might be not to use fold expression, <laughs> um, then you know talk to me afterwards. Cool. <laughs>